kind of experiment before I made this drop I didn't really know how I wanted it to sound I wanted it to kind of be like the verse but like more intense so I was like man I can't figure out a cool riff with just MIDI so I just resampled it to audio and then I just did some stuff to it <laughs> which I'll, I'll go through so so a lot of a lot of cool stuff going on and really it's all just this one big rack that i called au5 bass effector <laughs> i made this a long time ago this was before i actually like actually i haven't used this in a long time this is a pretty much a multi multi effects macro as you can see pretty much get unlimited amounts you can exceed eight if you put effects rack in an effects rack so what i have going on here is i have an lfo and auto pan on here and that lets me change the amplitude so i can actually bypass these and i could show you what some of these do so uh yeah let me just turn all this stuff off so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna loop this part right here. So I have an LFO am uh, amplitude. And I can I can adjust the LFO sync rate, which is pretty simple stuff. It's just auto pan put in there. I have grain mix because I have grain delay on there, and then I'm also able to change the grain pitch and the grain size to tune it to like a specific frequency. So like in this case, I think what is it 34.6 hertz if i change the grain size i can i think 37 or 38 hertz is the e flat but as you can hear you can do some crazy formant shifting stereo stuff with the grain delay if you want to see what that looks like it's just like the frequency and the pitch and to wet dry really and then i have metal mix and metal tune and this is a corpus which i set to oh, just on plate mode make sure you're using full resolution because otherwise it's going to sound dull uh, plate mode and then i'm just macroing the tune so that can give you some really cool a metallic edge to your bases like <laughs> squash which is really just like a mid-side ott a, a mid-side ott you say check out the, check out the course check out the school based okay. uh vocoder vocoder mix which i think is the yep yeah, it's the mid band vocoder thing i have a vocoder on the mid band uh, i have some random notches in the filter bank and then this is where i can mix the vocoder in dry wet on the vocoder being modulated being mapped to this <laughs> going on in there yeah if you if you have just like a simple bass stem and if you make something like this you just have a bunch of knobs that you can use to like make it way more interesting if it's not already interesting enough i mean like you can just take one sound and make a whole drop out of just using this i've sort of what i did as far as the bass goes Sweet. 